Hello and welcome to the Pulse TV Award Show for 2008. Yes, we are here today to give out some rather interesting awards, it must be said. Yes, be like, um, that. And that. And, and shiny stuff. Yeah, shiny, 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 shiny. <laughs> anyway. So, the point of this is to give out awards to the best moments and best people who helped make 2008 so successful for Pulse TV. And we thank you all. That's how we want to start Before with thanking start. everybody. Right, okay, so, roll the credits and let's get cracking. Our first award for the biggest idiot. And the nominations are Luke Duffy. Hello. Oh, oh, boy, you you Second nomination, Ashley Dunn. Oh, it's me, yes. And he's still adjusting his microphone, that's how I'm prepared. Yes. And third nomination, me. And the winner of this award is Luke Duffy. And he wins... A little Lego man. Made of all sorts of bits, he's got a peg leg and normal leg, some explorer body, blue hands and a skeleton's head. <laughs> I found it in my house, don't know how, where it came from. You have some weird stuff in your house. Yeah, true. And I've got a weird house, I'm so, a weird person. As Mr Duffy is unfortunately not here today, we just have to... Uh, Keep that down there. And probably give it to him on a card as special after. Yeah. Well, if Mr. Ward was here, you could accept it, but. He's not here either. Well, not here yet. He might show up later, we're not sure yet. The next award is for the daftest scene of 2008. Yeah, and the nominations are Chasing Pigeons. Second award is for my death scene that I was not informed about annoyingly. And last nomination is Sam's Wrapping Presents. Okay, now on today's lesson I will teach you how to wrap um, parcels for your presents under the tree. And the winner is Chasing Pigeons in Westminster. That was a classic comedy moment. And Brit Luke wins that. A nice shiny pencil. Think and appreciate that with simple mind. I'm sorry. And the next award is for the most mysterious person. And the what first nomination is the masked stranger from Logia. Award the mysterious stranger. There he is down there. Right, and now we'll say him off in a minute. And the second nomination for this award is the Sprog. Also in Logia. We're being invaded by aliens! <laughs> no, it's just a slug in a helmet! Hey, He's got a helmet! And the winner of this award is the Mass Stranger! Who sadly couldn't be here, but if he was, he'd be receiving this! Which is a little green toy soldier. You have to be mysterious if you're green. <laughs> True. It's camouflage, mysterious, nobody knows who you are. I mean, yeah. something I'm going to go under name badges, I am Bob. <laughs> Next award is for the best guest of 2008. Yes, and the nominations are Max Brain from the World Special. Here he is, it's Max Brain from... Where are you from? <laughs> Ashley Wardy for the London Specials. Oh! <laughs> Luke, no need for that! 
And the last one I mentioned is San D'Angelo from the Christmas special. Oh, hip and neck. Hold on. Hold on. And the winner of the best guest for 2008 is Max Brain. Who, because he lives so far away, couldn't make it. So he wins a Dalek key ring. And if we ever do another Wales special, we'll show you his acceptance speech on that. Our next award is for Most Foolish. And, because there's so many foolish scenes in Pulse TV, we can't show them all here. But anyway, the two nominations are... Ashley Dunn... And me, Matthew Hall. And the winner of this award is... Mr. Ashley Dunn! Thank you so much for a tea light holder. You know, I've got so many, but it means a lot. Thank you. He's crying, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he's, I weep am. he's weeping. A grown man is weeping. I think a grown man is 17. Right. And now we move on to the Best Internal Organisation Award. And there's only one between the MPA, so. Mr. Ashley Dunn. You may receive the Mad People's Association Award. Which is a here. HM Coast Guard keyring. Still in its packaging. Yeah, brilliant. And I'm sure they, the MPA were here, they'd thank us very, they thank you all very much because, well, they put a lot of effort into these, especially the editor, which is Ash Rawley. But I'd say seven, two cameras, merge it all together. You know, so uh, thank you. Duh. Oh, never mind. You've dropped the award. I put it back, it's safe. If you did that at the Oscars, you would be dead by now. Yeah, well, it's not the Oscars, is it? We can't afford an Oscar ceremony. We can't even afford a proper studio. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Dead Christmas trees. Paper. Anyway, moving back on. And now we have it for the worst dressed consistently. And the only nomination is... Him. What? How is it? This, this is not fair. You have no proof. Oh yes, watch this then. Ah, now I see what you mean, but I've broken the strike because casual shirt and Casual jeans. So what do I win this time? You win this. Well, thank you very much, everyone. That's three awards. Well, two of mine, one I accept on behalf of someone. I think I've broken a record already. Most awards on both TV. Everyone's not an award for that. Oh well. Okay, balance it there. Your stand's going to become too full in a minute. It's fine. <laughs> And now for the award for Best Technical Support in 2008. And the only nomination is the cameraman who you never see, but is brilliant, Richard Haddon. Now, and now, Matt has an inventive scheme to hand the award to Richard. Yes. Don't you? You see this wrap. It's a piece of old slide, but it's brilliant. Because we will now give him our award without him coming on camera. Watch this. It has wheels. Brilliant. I did an awesome backflip stunt. Mm. Stunt car. Brilliant. 